it's easy to get stuck around feelings, I think, because it's when we're, even when we're having relatively minor emotional upsets, uh, we're often feeling, you know, 20 different emotions yes. about them. And I think that it's difficult for us to process 20 different feelings words in our heads. Mm-hmm. And the, you know, the teen empathy cards there, the, the deck of them is, you know, there's 150 of them <laughs> as the, the current deck. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there's a lot of, the, there's a lot of feelings and yeah. I, I, you know, I could expand the deck. It's been suggested that I do expansion packs. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's the, the most common way that I use the cards as part of my reflective self-care practice. I love that term reflective self-care. I got that from mm. Meg John Barker. Oh, yes. I love their concept of the reflective self-care versus kind self-care. Mm-hmm. It's a totally incredible concept. Yeah. Um, so this kind of self-care that allows me to really process my emotional experience of the world. I'll think about something that I'm feeling and I'll go through the entire deck of cards and lay out every card that reflects my emotional landscape. And I find that unbelievably cathartic to have all those words laid out in front of me. So that's an exercise in linguistic precision and an exercise in just letting out that steam valve. So I don't have to hold all those words in my head. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it's like self empathy. Yes. Um, so what's also powerful is when I get someone to help me with that. So I, um, uh, I, I call it a feelings fap when I do it on my own, <laughs> sort of acknowledging somewhat masturbatory <laughs> nature of it. Yes. And then um, when I do this with a partner, I call it a feelings fap with a loving assist. <laughs> and so my partner will do this with me. Like he'll, um, he'll, I'll do a feelings fap and he'll wrap his arm around me and witness me doing this. Mm-hmm. And then he'll, um, he'll do empathic inquiry about the cards that I've laid out mm-hmm. and saying, like, tell me why you're feeling frustrated or tell me why chaotic came up for you. Mm-hmm. And then I'll tell him and then he'll active listen the responses. And I'll do this for him as well. And sometimes we Google calendar this. <laughs> That's like, wonderful. Feeling fap, feeling fap with a loving assist, like next Thursday. You know, yes. 6 p.m. Yes. Oh, my God. It's great. Like we like as a prophylactic sort of relationship check in thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and like and then also, you know, the physical touch element. Yeah, that's like that's our primary love language. So that's and then the words of affirmation thing. And then it's like quality time and next of service. I mean, it's the whole thing. All the things. Right. All the things. Um, so that's one way that we use it um, in our relationship. And it's something that I use as a solo practice. Mm-hmm. And I'll do this with friends as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's different than how I use it in the workshops that I teach. Yeah. Um, but it's just this incredible way of um, it's so empowering and um, unburdening yes. to get this language and have it out of your head. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think just, like, how many of us feel just like the weight of those feelings in our head Mm -hmm. to just externalize them. And the other thing you can do when you get these cards out in front of you is you can actually organize your feelings. (laughs) In order. (laughs) In order. (laughs) You could put them, you know, in little piles. Like I'm feeling this about this facet of my emotional experience and this facet. And, Mm -hmm. um, you know, this is how I feel about this. This is how I want to feel about this. Mm -hmm. This is how I was feeling, but not anymore. And like, how wonderful is that to reflect on how I'm not feeling? Like, oh, I was feeling really angry and frustrated, but now I'm just feeling sad. Mm -hmm. Um, And you can, you can track your process and play around and physically move the cards. Mm -hmm. 